Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the watch effect property. So, what what is this watch effect property will do? So, normally, if you try to see the watcher property which we have used it in the watch component somewhere, yeah. So, in this watch component, we have seen it, right? Here in this watch component. We have seen this one so it will be watching a source first parameter first argument you will be having the watch source type and the second one you will be having the callback function so this is common now for example let's say that we are having a different scenario i will try to tell you a different scenario like a watch effect thing i will create a new file watch effect component so we'll have a new one so that uh, we can have a differentiation between those two and let's go to the main.js and here i will be creating watch effect watch effect component let's copy this one and here also watch effect component and in the app.view i will be having watch effect component and next another one is watch effect component where is one yeah we'll be having a template and in this one i'll be having a do h3 watch effect component i will show you about the difference between these two so both are one in the same only whichever you want you can use it but i want to tell you the difference between a uh, difference between those two watch effect component and the watch component now here i'll be having a script set script script and this one will be, will be using the setup or otherwise you can use export default and the setup method you can use it and in the setup let's say that i am having a constant to do id so some some id so to do id so this is a ref of for the time being you will be having a one and we'll be having the data so which you will be give, getting it from the backend uh, the API call. So now I want to watch this to do to do ID. So when I am getting uh, when I am whenever this watch uh, to do ID is changed, so I will be calling the callback function, and here I will be taking I will be calling the JSON placeholder. This one to do with ID of one. Okay. Now by default this is one is one right here i can use await and the fetch api and here i'll be using like this and we know that we will be having this one right to do id and i can directly use the to do id now we got the response so here i can do data dot value is equal to await response dot json fine so we got the watch api now whenever this watch whenever this to do is changed then it will call the fetch api so it will call the json placeholder now here i can have one do so i can have one do and in this one i can have one input type is equal to text and for this one we can use vi for model is equal to to do id and if you want you can also mention to do id let's see the output now if you try to see the output and here refresh it and we are getting watch is not defined okay that's okay we need to include this watch fine and let's refresh this page in the network so here at the bottom we'll be having the watcher effect watch effect and here we are having a to do and if you try to empty and cache reload so we are for the first time we are not calling this one with an id of one so whenever i change it so we are calling with the object value and we need to use this to do id dot value now if you try to see the same thing so here if i refresh it now first i am not calling when i q12 so it is calling with the 12 and we are able to get the data and here if i try to change it to 3 we are calling it to the tree and for the first time so whenever 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 the page is refreshed for the first time if you want to get this watch executed means we have a method that is nothing but immediate true so this is one map right this is one feature so now if i try to see with one it is calling 
okay so now if you try to notice here so we are trying to use to do id so this to do id twice so first we are declaring the source which watch has to detect and again we are using inside the callback so this whole process we can simplify it with using the watch effect so watch effect what it will try to do is the watch effect will track the dependencies in the callback so whatever the reactive dependencies you are using in the callback automatically it will watch effect will try to recognize it and the watch and the watch will affect if any of the dependence react to dependencies in the callback is changed then this watch effect will be called so or uh, there is no need to mention the sources here so here you will be explicitly mentioning to the reactive sources which watch has to react whereas in the watch effect it will directly take those all the watch sources from the callback itself so if you want to write the same code means so what i how i can write is i can use the watch effect okay so first one so you'll be having only the callback function so there is no need to mention the sources why because automatically it will take it from the callback thing and i can copy this all the code and i can paste it okay that's it so here i can comment out this one now this this the whole code and this single code is one and the same only okay and also this callback will run immediately there is no need to mention the immediate true why because so this watch effect calls is immediately with the there is no need to mention this option during its a, a execution it will automatically track this to do id dot value as a dependency it is something like similar to the computer properties in the computer properties whatever the variables you are trying to use it so the computer will be executed right in the same scenario the watch effect it will try to take the values whatever the reactive sources are there in the callback value it will try to run the watch ever so now here in this scenario whenever this to do id changes the callback will run again so now in this watch effect there is no longer we no longer need to pass the to do id explicitly as the source value here there is no need to pass to do id as explicit in the source value automatically in the callback dependency the watch effect will try to analyze the code and it will try to think that it will try to analyze that so okay you see dependent on this to do id so whenever the to do id value is changed this watch effect has to execute so now if you try to see the output and here let's and here i will try to refresh it okay here see the same thing is happening and if you try to run it so here it's also running with the same problem it's the same thing so this is how the watch effect will be working okay now you will be understanding that so the, for with only something like one dependency so with only one dependency so you might be thinking that the benefit of the watch effect is relatively small so the, the, there is not not that much of benefit with the watch effect thing so but when we are trying to when you, when the watcher is having a multiple resources like array of multiple resources we have already seen in the previous videos so whenever you are having an array of multiple dependencies like that so this watch effect will remove the burden of maintaining the of mentioning all those dependencies manually and also you understand that in the reactive so whenever you are trying to use the reactive thing so we need to mention the particular object so those type of uh, uh, it, uh, deep watching thing also the efficiency will increase in this one so like that so it will only track the properties that are used in the callback only rather than recursively tracking all of them it will only track the properties that are used in the callback so that is the main thing and also another tip what i want to tell you is the watch effect so this watch effect only track the dependencies that are added in the synchronously execution so whenever you are trying to use it in the async callback means the properties accessed before the first await only it will be accessed so here you are adding you, you are adding you are using this to do id dot value before the first await so the this will be tracked for example let's say that i am having a count okay constant so i am having one constant count is equal to ref of zero so i am having some re another react variable a reactive source so here count now i will try to mention this count here count and here i will be using the count somehow in this one the count is also used so i am using just console.log of count dot value so whenever the count value is changed 
So this watch effect will write, will execute. Now the watch effect will execute in the two scenarios that whenever the count value is changed, this will be executed or otherwise whenever the to do value is changed, then also it will be executed. Fine. Let's go into this one. And here I will try to refresh this page for the first time it is calling and the count I am trying to increase it. See, whenever I am trying to increase it in the console, so we are not able to see the value. Whenever I increase the to do value, so I am able to print that count. So what is happening here? So the value which you are trying to use it, you are trying to use it after the await thing. So if you want to use, if you want to track these things, means you need to use it in the synchronous way. So here, this is how the synchronous way it will be happen. Now the count, now it will, it will react to the changes. Now if I try to refresh this page, now whenever I try to change the count value also, to do will be called. See, so to do is called. So whenever I try to change this one also, to do will be called. So here if I change the count also, it is changing. And if I change the to do value also, it is changing. So like this, it should be. So you need to understand the main thing. So the variables which you are declared in the synchronous execution only, those values, on, those <coughs> reactive sources only will be considered. So whenever you use a variable or reactive source after the await or after the asynchronous thing means then these reactive sources variable will not be considered. So this is one thing. Now what is the difference between this watch and watch effect? So now you may be having a doubt. What is the difference between this watch and effect? So both are one and the same only. It's not a thing. So watch and watch effect both allow us reactively perform the side effects. Their main difference is the way they track their reactive dependencies. Watch only tracks the explicit watch source type. So here, whatever the source type explicitly you have added, so those things only it will watch. So it won't track anything the other than the variables that are used in the callback. So it will not, it will not track any reactive sources that are accessed inside a callback. In addition, the callback only triggers when the source has actually changed. Watch separates dependency tracking from the side effect, giving us more precise control over when the callback should be fired. So that is the main thing. So watch differentiates the dependency tracking and also the callback function giving us the more control when actually the callback should be fired. Whereas in the watch effect on the other hand if you try to see that it combines the dependency tracking and the side effect into one phase. So here it automatically tracks the every reactive property accessed during the synchronous execution. So that is the thing I already told you about the synchronous thing. So like this. This is more convenient and typical results in the tracer code, but makes reactive dependencies less explicit. So you, you will be not able to track the reactive dependencies. So that is the main thing. So that is the difference between this watch and the watch effect. Now, the another thing before closing this one. So I want to tell you another concept that is nothing but flush timing. So for example, let's say that whenever you are using this watch, Okay, whenever you are using this watch, for example, let's say that here we are having a count, right? I will try to do do channel subscriber count or something like this. I am using one variable and I am using this count. Okay, so this is this one is like channel. I will use I'll be using channel. Now, whenever this value is changed, whenever this count value is changed, so this watch effect will be fine, right? So I want to take this channel value. So that means I want to take the DOM. So this DOM text value. So what I can do here document dot get element by ID of channel is there. Then take this document dot get element by ID of channel dot inner text. Okay dot inner text. So this is the thing which I want to tell you. So now here like this we will be having. Now if I try to refresh this page. Okay. So now right now the channel count we are having is the 0 and 0. Now when I change it to 1 here. The channel subscribe count will be increased to 1. And here the console also we need to get the same thing. Right. So here. Oh. Here I need to do the console.log. Okay. This is the console.log. We need to do the console.log. Fine. Now if I refresh this page. Okay, now if I refresh this page, so right now we are getting channel subscribe count is zero. Fine. Now when I increase it to 
20 then it should be 20 here if you try to see here it is not executing right so it is not executing so why because so count value we have used it after the synchronous so we will try to use it here now it will try to it will execute it now if you see here if i refresh this page yeah now the dom so here i two i have pressed it so now we are able to get the channel subscription count is two so if i try to press three so i'm able to get this one as 23 it's fine correct this is happening because so we are having this await function and all those things because of that reason it is coming so i will try to comment out this one now you see so whenever account value is changed so what will happen we'll try to see so now if you try to see fine so now i am trying to add two what it is happening here actually the text we are having is channel subscribe count is two but here we are able to see that channel subscribe count is six zero now when i try to press four so now it is giving you the previous text value what it is happening is here is the watch will fire before the dom updation only so whenever the view component update happened before the view component update only this watch will be fired so if you want whenever you are trying to use the dom and all those things in the watcher callback so you need to wait until the dom or the view component update if you want to wait it means then you need to use the option something like flush post okay so like this you need to use it now if you try to use the flush post so then after the view component dom update only then only you will be able to get it so now if i try to press, press 2 so now i am able to get the 2 and the 2 so it is matching so now after the dom update only i am able to get the inner text value so for this one instead of using the watch effect you can also use the watch post effect okay so you can also use the watch post effects so, so then there is no need to use the flush post so this is the main thing so this is the another one so watch effect and the watch post effect so if you anybody ask about you the difference between watch effect and the post, watch post effect so this is the difference so the and the another one which i want to tell you is before closing this one stopping a watcher so whenever you are trying to stop the watcher means so automatically the view is un, when it is unmounted or when, when is when the component is removed from the page automatically the all the watchers whatever the things you are doing so those all the things will be destroyed so there is no need for the thing so now if you are trying to use it in a synchronous way so in a set time out or anything if you are trying to use it means then you need to manually stop the watcher things to avoid the memory leak so nothing so what you can do it is for example whenever you are trying to use the set timeout okay here in this one set timeout if you are trying to use this watch effect watch effect if you are trying to use it means so i am not using i am using simply so here you need to you need to stop this watch effect manually so what you can do it is so here you can have a variable so here at the top you need to have so constant unwatch you can have it is equal to like this and at the bottom you can do the unwatch okay so normally this one will work will not work so here you need to use constant unwatch okay so you need to use it like this constant unwatch <coughs> uh, like this you need to use it okay so constant unwatch and here you can remove this unwatch now this one like this you need to use it so like this you need to use it. so this is how you need to use so this all effects for the watch and the watch effect also don't think that for only watch it is there so this is all about the complete watch concept so we have learned about the watch watch effect and also the watch post effect also we have used it and how to stop manually the watch thing also we have seen it using this unwatch thing hope you understood about this watch concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.